Yeah, this is me, an imp statue. You may be wondering, how did I get here? Well, let me tell you my story. Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and I'm uh, back in the death, what, what is it called? I don't even know. The War Dead Catacombs. Yeah, and I found that this is kind of a somewhat passive rune farm. It's not exactly passive because occasionally you do have to re-engage them. Eventually, they stop damaging each other. It's really strange. They will continue to fight, but you won't have any damage numbers. And then all I do is hit them with a quick throwing dagger, use my Mimic's Veil to turn into something else, whether it is a chair or a candelabra or this wonderful imp statue. Yeah, see, look, it looks like they have stopped injuring each other. So now what I need to do, oh, Nelly. Just kidding. Actually, it looks like they've re-engaged. I don't know why sometimes it just stops, but I have been... Oh, no. Well, they don't <laughs> really mind me so much. So now I'm just going to let them kind of finish each other off, and I've been netting a decent amount of runes. And the reason is actually not to level up, but it is to get some of my staffs upgraded. So while they're still killing each other, let's go over here and take a quick look. So... I also need to talk about something else. Right now, I am using the Lusat Glintstone Staff upgraded to plus five in my main hand. And there we go, another 1600 runes, not too bad. And then they just instantly respawn. It's absolutely crazy. But on my offhand, I have the Glintstone Staff, the Meteorite Staff, and the Staff of Loss. Someone actually had made mention in the Discord that there was currently a feature, well, there's a feature or a bug, I guess a future update will let us know, where you put your highest sorcery scaling staff in, in your main hand, and that's how you're going to cast your sorceries. But then you have in your offhand things that have passive effects, like boost, carry, and sword sorcery, gravity sorcery, invisibility sorcery. And you actually get those passive effects simply by having it equipped, which I guess it kind of makes sense just because it is a passive ability. It's kind of like having um, like the Grass Crest Shield in Dark Souls 1. Well, I mean, you're technically you're offhand. You still get the boost from the stamina regeneration. Um, because it's a passive effect, but it is actually working. I've been doing tests on some of these ghosts, and yeah, it, it does work. I haven't actually done the math to see what kind of increase it is, but it's not too bad. Um, I was kind of hoping hoping for one more of the big kills, because they're, they're almost dead. I just, oh, jeepers, I don't have um, really any more magic. Although I just killed him, I wonder if I can wait this one out. I can do night shard. I can do like one night shard. That's invisibility though, so let's try this. Missed. <laughs> that was the last one I can cast. I can try to do some uh, throwing knives to help him out. That's not really cutting it though. They will eventually kill him. I mean, I've gotten a couple thousand. Well, actually, I've probably gotten about 15,000 just, just since I've been here. Not super efficient. Definitely not very fun. Oh, he's about to die though. He's about to die. Is a nice 2800 one. It's weird. The rooms definitely fluctuate though. I don't know why that is. Up oh, there's another 1900, and they just keep they keep respawning, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off. It's kind of a, a fun little thing that I discovered. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, this catacombs is rough. Or this catacombs. These catacombs are rough. Yes, that is the correct way to put it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the round table hold. I'm actually not going to use this to level. This would be enough for a single level, but instead I have been buying the smithing stone ones and twos just to see about getting things upgraded. And actually, now that I have so many runes, I might buy some of the sombers as well. Um, now, what do we have in here? Anything that I need to pick up? We do have the order's blade, which maybe I want to pick up at some point, but we just want to purchase. And let's see, um, I'll buy 22 of these. That'll be enough to get up to a plus three and then I'll buy 24 of these okay so that way I can get some things up to plus six um, sombers are expensive though although I only need one at a time so really I don't need to buy any of those okay so you know what let's buy let's actually buy another 24 of each of these just so we have some options now again it's only going to go to a plus six but it's better than nothing and now let's head to Hugh, see what we can do upgrade-wise. And then today we're going to be heading to 
a cave that I didn't know existed that apparently has a really, really beneficial sorcery for me. Uh, big shout out to my friend Grackleflint for letting me know this. I'm surprised that I didn't see a single comment pointing this out. It's actually in Liernia, which I thought I had done pretty well, but apparently not. All right, great. So we can do both. Oh, and we're going to be getting rid of that. Don't even worry about the Dragon Communion seal. <laughs> I'll talk about that here in a second. But let's get these up to plus six. There we go. Three, four, five, and six. There we go. Great. Okay. And I think that's about all we're going to do right now. I'm actually going to try and run pretty much exclusively with magic, at least for today. So, speaking of magic, let's take a look at the magic I have on me. I did I did change it up a little bit. I'm not leveling. What am I doing? Uh, memorize spells. So, I tried this out. The pest threads. Um, I don't... I don't understand what this is used for. I mean, I tried it against those ghosts, and it was just so incredibly weak. Now, granted, I have low faith. I haven't upgraded the talisman, but I was seeing like 40 damage. I mean, that's just that's just ridiculous. Uh, so, what do we want to do instead? Roxling has been amazing. I guess Roxling would that be considered a gravity? That would probably be considered gravity, right? We can, we can kind of test that out. I mean, that thing obviously saved my bacon last time. Uh, and what we're going to do, we are now going to... Uh, what else did I change up? I did change up the talisman, so I have... Oh, but we don't need this anymore. I don't need the two fingers heirloom. So instead, do we want to put on Marika's scar seal again to get that extra bit of mind? I think I do. Oh, and that would actually... Mm, that would allow for the bubble. That would allow for the bubble. The big bubble. I could actually put the big bubble on. Yeah, let's do the big bubble. I love the big bubble. I love it. I love it. Uh, here's a, a minor criticism. I hate, I hate, and this is not something I just don't like. I hate. So we're getting these staffs that talk about boosting certain sorceries, the carrion sword or uh, stone digger, gravity, elu uh, invisible. But these are not separated by those, and I don't understand why not. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what is the order that the, now I know I can I can sort. So, but it's by item type. What does that mean? That it's that it's going by item type. Order of acquisition. That's kind of cool. Slots use FP cost. I like that I can sort, but I want to see the school of magic somewhere listed very clearly so glintstone pebble up there just says it's a sorcery tell me that's a glintstone sorcery uh tell me that carrion slicer is a carrion sword now some of these are obvious but some of them are not and according to the wiki uh you might not really fully understand why some are in certain class i'm changing my pants by the way these are these are just i hate the pointed toes i hate them but i don't want to wear other people's skins but i kind of like that yeah, I do. Now, I do want to also... I need my bow. I need my bow, right? Okay, so where's my horn bow? Hopefully it's not too heavy. It is. No. Okay, we might be able to cut costs. I did buy a short bow, by the way. I finally found the merchant. It is the one on the coast, right in the limb grave by the coastal cave. But if we put that on, what do we need to do to shave? What's pretty heavy? <sighs> oh. Oh, no, don't... Don't make me go back to that. Ah, <laughs> uh, please. Even the astrologer's robe is too Yeah, 6.3. That's kind of absurd. Although, I wonder if I took the... No, that's too heavy. That's 7.7. .7. Um, some of these are just ridiculous that it actually is too much. All right, never mind. We're going to go bowless. We'll go bowless. That's okay. That is all right. So anyway, where are we heading today? <laughs> After nine minutes of rambling, we're going to be heading to Liernia. Now, over here, this is where we got the Glintstone Key. This is what allowed us into the Rhea, Rhea Lucari Academy. But apparently up here, there is a cave. And you know what? I never did explore this because, well, there be dragons right here. But if I just go to the Temple Quarter, I'm going to hug the left wall. The left cliff face of the lake and just see if we can find this cave apparently the sorcery is something that's going to synergize very very nicely with what we're trying to do here now i am not taking on the dragon will i eventually yeah maybe i don't know There's no promises but 
Today is not that day. Today is not that day. All right, giant, giant lobsters in the back. I thought I probably could. No, it's just we'll do that. We'll do like a dragon killing montage, one episode. Oh, yeah, there's some big old lobsters over there, as we would say here in Boston. And you know what? I could see that this may be the place where the cave is, considering it's somewhat guarded. Hmm. Gotta wonder, too, if there's anything hidden actually around the academy itself. Wouldn't be too terribly surprised. Now, this staff that I'm wearing, the Lusats, it is really good. But it does increase the cost of all of my spells. So it's a bit rough. If I try to do a single cannon of Haima, it is enough so that I actually can't do another one. Um, we also have a rotunda here that I don't think I have visited before. So that could be interesting. I mean, I may have. Uh, what do we want to lead with? Let's do... I gotta remember what's what. So the Staff of Loss is for invisibility, which includes my Ambush Shard and my, yeah, Ambush, ambush Shard is back. You're welcome, everyone. Beautiful. I mean, that was just wonderful, I'll dig that. Oh, whoa, jumping all on over me. Okay, nope, so I haven't been up here. This is probably gonna be an upgrade material. I think that's what most of the other rotundas were. Level three though, actually level three is great for what I'm trying to do, and that is to test out some different staffs. When is it staffs and when is it staves? Does anyone know or if there even is a distinction? Because I have heard it both. I've heard staves and I've heard staffs, and I don't know if there actually is any way of knowing, or if there is a distinction. Maybe they are, ooh, interchangeable, hey. Also a graveyard I failed to loot. So help me if a remnant appears. Although apparently I did hear a nice little trick on how to kill, wow, there's a lot of loot here. I'm actually not even concerned about this. Nope, not even concerned a little. <laughs> they are, at this point, pretty weak, but if you use the healing spells, I guess the remnants, and actually probably these guys as well, the worshippers, they take just a ton of damage, which I think is so cool. And I think maybe I got a merchant note that said that. I'll have to read some of those. Come on now. Yeah, this is a lot of runes. Hey, that's great. That's really great. But where's this cave? <laughs> Where is this cave? Hmm. It's possible I missed it. How far up am I? Oh, I'm still in combat. Can't look yet. All right, here's a nice way to uh, refill on flasks, I think. So we'll just... Oh, you didn't die. How interesting. And you, can I hit you with a, an ambush shard? Okay. He shouldn't be able to dodge that nimbly. There we go. Foot soldier helmet looks hideous. Hmm. Now we've been there. That's the turtle rise, right? Testu's rise, excuse me. Hmm, okay. I really thought it was going to be in this cliff face. Let's take another ride through it and see. Okay. anything. I was told to look along the cliffs at the northwestern side of rail... Unless... No, it wasn't Testus. I mean, that would be right around here, right? So, that's Ray Lucaria. And I don't know the name of the cave, or at this point I probably would just look it up, because... They have really, really told me just how beneficial this would be. Just to really pump those numbers, but I'm not 
seeing any such cave. Oh my gosh, that has row. That doesn't make sense, by the way. That's not where lobsters carry their eggs. It's it's underneath. But this is cool that this is like a little breeding area for them. No, no, I think that's interesting. It would be under their tail, not on top of their tail. Right next to their carapace. That doesn't doesn't quite make sense there, game. It's kind of like you wanted us to notice your attention to detail, only to get those details wrong. Okay. Right the car. Maybe... No? It's got to be around here. It's got to be. Okay. Well, we're going to have to take another ride, I guess. Apologize for this. I, I just want to find this. Maybe it is actually along the island it's oh th that is the underside of the tail excuse me my apologies you did it right i thought that was actually nope that's accurate cool kudos i dig it so yeah maybe maybe it is over here maybe i was mis uh misunderstanding what they were trying to say well we can certainly oh well that was quick because there is a stone sword key entrance and we have a lot of these cerulean tier scarabs. How many? Oh, it's two. It's two for. How many more of those do I have, by the way? All right, first off, lantern. And I have only four left. I actually am finally using these up. All right. So we have a summoning circle. Let's rest up. Find out the name of this place. It is a cat Academy Crystal Cave. So this is actually associated with it. That's kind of cool. So we got some rats. All right. I think a little stealth action is warranted here. Why not? Okay. Lots of cracked crystal. Oh, no. Crystal Cave Moss. Okay. Nice and quiet like. I mean, I probably don't need this. And I should almost have another staff. You know what, actually? Do I want to do this really, really carefully? And just use those for the big spells? If I'm going to be one-shotting, why worry about the extra FP? So let's see. 210. I'm just looking at sorcery scaling. 213. 267. But that consumes additional, so I don't want that either. 259 for the carrying regal. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. So we're not doing the uh the extra FP, at least for now. For the big for the big guns we will. Ooh, a little hazy. Uh kinda ominous over there. Is that oh jeez. Remember the time I don't even have Misery Cord? I need Misery Cord. Okay, please don't alert the others. Ah, okay. You at least saw me. That's all right. Why don't you come this way? We'll dance. Oh, wow. That's not a lot. Um, okay, let's try a different approach. Let's try... You know what? Let's... Let's do Collapsing Stars into a Carrion Slicer. Huh? We haven't done that in a little while. Oh. Okay. Carrion Slicer still still doing his job. Now, I want a big old cannon here. Now, I don't know if this is boosted by any of these. It wouldn't be this one for sure. Nah, it shouldn't be any of these. Anyway, let's go all the way to the back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> but they didn't see me. Oh, they're so dumb. Okay. Oh, and I don't have enough now. Urgh, see, this is the problem with this. I need more mind. I need a lot more mind. That works. Oh, only 571. That's not a lot of health on them. All right. Some glintstones. Excellent. I like the glintstones. You know, I mentioned it before, but it does, it just feels 
like one of the best parts of Skyrim thrown into this game, and that is the ability to use otherwise magic only items and spells for, you know, kind of like melee users. And I just think that's a really cool addition. All right, there's someone right there who sees me. Oh. Any more though? No, I don't think so. How about, let's just do some slicers. There we go, got you. Now is that? There was a mine? It looked like a mine. I'm gonna take this way first though. Ooh, this is interesting. Someone locked in a cage? Stone sword key. Okay, <laughs> so you get one back. Spend two, get one free. All right. Really do need to get more FP, though. Okay, so where are we heading now? Yeah, this, this feels like a mine, which would be great, actually. All right, let's see. Oh, big guy. How about a little ambush shard? Oh, you, you have some, uh, some health on you, don't you? You know what though? Come on in. Because I would love for you to just walk into that. Come on. Oh, you big, big dum-dum. You big, big dum-dum. This is gonna work. <laughs> it sure did. It sure did. Oh, that was wonderful. And now you are none the wiser. Might even be able to get a backstab. It depends on what else is over here though. Oh, there's the boss. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there a Steak America around here? No? Really? What did you drop? A stone club. Why were you wielding a stone club? You represent both spectrums. Sir Bonks a lot and, you know, people who are just pew-pewing everything. Where are my club weapons? Do I even... Probably just started a new category. Here we go. Stone club. Battle mages, okay. Hewn from hard glintstone, this club is much heavier than its size suggests, but it has no magic power. So that they not lose sight of the true essence of combat, battle mages prefer to feel the impact of their blows, fighting their opponents hand to hand. I don't like that. I like to just feel the weight of a staff in my hand and let it do all of the work for me. Yeah, that's, that's how I roll. What, what, why? Uh, you know what I can do, though? This is going to be fun. Can you come down and play? Ah, no! Fall down. <laughs> that would have been a lot cooler if I, you know, didn't completely mess it up. Rune arc. I'll take it. Now, am I supposed to be able to get up there? Yes, it seems like I am. But from... Where? Unless it's maybe through the boss, it could be. Who do I have still? Um, I have the shields on me, oh my gosh. This is gonna, whatever I'm about to fight, this is gonna be fun. Oh geez, oh no. Uh, I didn't actually mean that, I meant to summon my uh, shield bros. Two Crystallians. I mean, the first time they weren't bad, and you know they do give you the club, which is really nice. Although, you know what, I bet. I bet Roxling is just going to do an insanely good job against them. I bet it's going to just absolutely do nothing. Oh, no. Really? I mean, they're not really hurting my friends here, which is nice. Oh, no, no. Why'd you switch? Why'd you switch? Um, this is worrying. I mean, oh, you're doing... Oh, never mind. You can't say they're doing no damage when, again, it's just... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I broke their armor off. Oh, this is going to be quick then. Let's do... Oh, that's Misery Cord, Blue. 
Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Oh, that was amazing. All right, back to Rock Sling. Oh, and not enough. Oh no, this is my last one. <laughs> we might actually have to go. Oh, there we go. That, I think, just did it. There we go. All right. Yeah. Chris Crystal release a new sorcery. I don't think that's the one my friend was just telling me about. But we'll take a look. It's another crystal one. Crystal release. How is this different than shattering crystal? Scours area with violent rain of crystal shards. This sorcery is used by high-ranking adepts among the Crystallians. Some also call this sorcery the Crystal Sun. Okay. So the Shattering Crystal, this is really just a shotgun. This is actually rain. All right. Cool. No, I don't I don't think that's actually it. But it also looked like I was supposed to get above where that one sorcerer was. So is this leading me that way? I hate when I don't look the right direction and there's, you know, I've, whoa, we're going way up. I'm going up into the academy. Uh, okay. Or am I going to space? Jeez. Where? Okay, yep, so I'm, I'm in the academy now. That's cool. Oh, wait, is this going to be how I actually reach some of the areas that I haven't been able to hit before? No. Well, might just be here for this treasure. And it's Terra Magica. Okay, so Magic Earth. Terra Magica. Raises the magic strength of those within the sigil. Okay. Draws an academy sigil upon the ground, raising the magic strength of those within. Once the sigil would be cast from the highest belfry of the academy, covering the entire institution's grounds. This spell allows such vivid experience of spellcasting success, it turns many a fledgling into a true sorcerer in a flash of newfound understanding. That sounds awesome. So basically, I'm going to draw a sign on the ground, and as long as I'm standing in it, it'll boost my sorceries. Now, that might only really be good for like a one-off. Or just, you know, I guess using my summons like those shield guys. And I just stand in the back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. depending on how much that boosted, that could be very, very good. I'm just going back down. I want to see if there's a way to get up onto that ledge where that one enemy was. Very rarely do they, you know, place an enemy in an area you truly can't get to. But I wonder because there was technically a transition into a new area if enemies have respawned tend to doubt it, but you never know. Nope. Still dead. Good. Good, 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 good. Nothing on the outside here. Nothing on the inside here. No, you know, fake walls or anything. I can't get up there. It, it, there's too much detail not to. Right? Maybe, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't get up there. Maybe I can? No. I can get on these sacks. I can get on this. But then, no, there's no way I'm getting up. Hmm. I don't know. Did I miss something obvious somewhere else that would have carried me around? Like on the outside here? I'm going to go with no. I don't think I did. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Not an overly difficult cave, but I dug it. It was kind of fun. Plus, I may have enough to level up. 15,000. That's kind of a tall order. Let's go back to the round table hold. We will have to do a test somewhere, right? And let's just go to Hugh. Other way. I am I'm learning this slowly, but you know, I am learning it. <laughs> let's go to Hugh. Let's sell all my runes. See if we get up to 47,000. I'm not sure. I don't... Eh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. No. But, 
But you know where we could go. You know where we could go. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hate myself for this. I am going to hate myself for this. This is not going to go well. It's it's not gone well several times. It's going to continue to not go well. All right. So let's just see if we can get enough. Oh, wait. We're going to have to actually, you know, put on that new spell. Uh, so let's do this. Let's change up. I want to use this. That's what I want to actually test. Let's get rid of Night Maiden's Mist. Let's put on Terra Magica. And we'll just... Oh, gosh. This is going to be a tough one to tell, though. Right? I'm going to have to do something simple like a Night Shard. Oh. One of them has glowing eyes, and that one's worth like 3,800 already. That's going to be huge. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's try it. Oh gosh. Wrong. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I don't know how long the sigil lasts. I don't know how big that was, but it felt really big. Oh, we're in trouble. Move, move, move. Okay. Okay. Hold, uh, hold on. You've just lost audio because I yanked the, <laughs> I got so excited. I yanked the headphone cable out. There we go. I think you're back. Sorry about that. I got very excited. Very nervous, I should say. Not, not so much excited. I definitely want to kill that guy though. that flippy flip uh who is that not the right one mm, this is not safe this is not safe especially because one of these guys oh yep here he comes here he comes yeah that's a problem go fight the other ones would you yes 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 Yet. Mm, where's the one with the glowing eyes? Whoa! Whoa! Dead! Dead! Huh, uh. <laughs> See that? Huh? That was some hardcore parkour right there. Okay. I still... Yeah, I mean, I, I'll have to do an actual test where it's easier to tell, but I think the one with the red eyes has, uh, has left. Here's the thing. I'm gonna hang out, I'm gonna see to it that they die, and then next time we'll spend those ruins. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you and my shenanigans <laughs> next time. <laughs>